Hallo kijkers van Shine Sprites, welkom bij een gloedaflevering. Een gloedaflevering. Welkom bij een gloedaflevering. Nee, een gloednieuwe aflevering van Professor Layton en de Miracle Mask. We gaan naar de Ruby Sweet toe om eventueel clues te vinden van de Masked Gentleman. Dat is waar we nu zijn in de Ruby Room. De Ruby Sweet. Ik denk dat er in elke suite die we hebben gekregen een, uh, iets van een uh, coole... Ja, hoe noem je dat? Uh, een coole clue zit uh, verstopt. Alleen, ik moet zeggen dat de clue van deze kamer nog niet heel erg duidelijk is. Oh, deze. Kijk. Oh, het is een hint muntje. Ik dacht, dit is de clue. Ik denk dat het niet hier is. Dan gaan we de Ruby Suite weer voorbij. Dan gaan we naar de Emerald, Su Emerald Suite. Oh. So, what's the next scam? Who should we fleece next? Frankie, my dear, you're almost as brainless as you're ugly. I'm having doubts about our partnership. What? Come on, Nark, don't say that. Um, let's set everything up perfectly, but uh, always find a way to mess up things. You're about as much uh, use as a tennis ball made of je jelly. Oi, enough of that. Uh, or were you looking uh, a good slap across the rashers? Here now, both of you. I doubt that fighting will help the situa situation. Huh? Leighton, what a pleasant intrusion. Might uh, I ask what you're doing here in my hotel room, well? Yeah, who do you think you are barging in on us like that? Uh, you're disrupting our business strategy session. Uh, how are we to afford to stay here with insufficient uh, ill-gotten gains? Er, uh, in that case, my apologies gentlemen, uh, by all means continue. Toch gaan we heel even spieken in deze kamer. Oeh. Hmm, we paid perfectly good dirty money for this room. You can't just poke around here, that's rude. Yeah, you think you can just search where you like without asking us first? Not likely, mate. Nah, I got it all. Uh, you're going to keep bothering me then. Uh, what did you want? Another battle of wits? Perhaps some other times. Um, I simply wish to search the room. We're investigating the masked gentleman. Oh, of course, Leiden. I should be delighted if you would rifle through my possessions. Well, I suppose I could allow it, but only if you solve this puzzle. Honderdertig. Water, wood and fire. Uh, the cards in this tournament beat each as uh, follows. Fire, wood, water, fire. Yeah, 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 so was normal. Uh, four players each draw four cards, which uh, they have to play in order uh, going from top to bottom. Okay. Both players uh, in a match play one card. Uh, whoever uh, wins the most of the final. Um, but if it's a draw, the next cards are played. Used the card. Used cards are discarded. Okay. Um, at the end of the tournament, one player announces, um, "I'd have won if I'd been allowed to swap wood for water and water for wood." Who said this? Um, the first round we say. Dat kan sowieso niet B zijn. Oh, het is zo tegen elkaar. Ah, oké, okay, wacht. Water en water. Nou, dat is dan niks. Um, water en vuur. Je B dan op dit B dan. Je weet niet Oké, okay, dus B wint van A. Dus B komt bovenaan in de ladder. Hier wint C van D. D van C. D van C en C van D. Oké, okay, wacht. Dus hier... Hij houdt water vast, zeg maar, denk ik. Um, en... 
hier wint hij. Dus dan is het water tegen water. Nee, Siri, dat hoeft niet. Dus het water tegen water. En dan heeft B vuur. En dan heeft C, C gras. Ik denk dat C dat zou zeggen. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. Nice. That Ik ben zo'n late sure. master. Well, I'm impressed. You actually solved it. Then I uh, take it you'll have no objection uh, to our searching this room. Ah, oh, nice one, Nark. That was one of our perfect plans, was it? Stick a sock in it, Frankie. Of course you may search the room, Leighton. There's nothing left in here anyway. Thank you. I w it won't be long. <laughs> Could you, uh, wouldn't, couldn't this room be the beautiful place surrounded by green from the story? Professor, uh, there's a book hidden behind the frame. Ah, so the beautiful place surrounded by green was the picture... Ah, was the picture frame in this room, natuurlijk. What a complicated way to give directions. I want to know what the book says. Hoeven niet eens naar de sapphire room. Once upon a time there was a young boy who came across an injured wild dog and took him in. As the dog healed, he learned to trust the boy and slowly uh, forgot his wild ways. Uh, in the following years, the two grew up together and never spent a day apart. But the day came when the boy had to leave the village to pursue his dream of becoming a scholar. The boy entrusted the dog to his family, knowing he would protect them. Ik denk dat jullie ook al een beetje hetzelfde gevoel hebben als ik. Want het, wordt, de, het zijn natuurlijk allemaal... Uh, uh, jij noem je dat? Uh, allemaal personen in het verhaal die, uh, die worden ver, waarnaar wordt verwezen. De dog is Henry. De uh, boy die departed is, is Randall. As the boy departed uh, in his cart, the dog howled. He uh, was sad to see the boy go. The boy grew, uh, grew into a fine young man and became a famous scholar. When he finally returned home, he was eager to show his family and his dog what he made it of himself. But when he arrived, he found his house empty. The young man, now fully grown, asked a passerby what happened. The helpful stranger told him that the family who lived in the house had been chased out years ago by a wild dog. And that's when the young man realized. He had been betrayed by the uh, one he trusted the most. He had no home to return to and his family were gone. With grief weighing heavy upon his heart, the young man disappeared into the woods, never to be seen again. The end. Well, that was a sad story. Yes, clearly another alleg allegory, but I'm not sure what it means. So that last part must be designed to lead to another room, right? Yes, the young man disappears into the woods at the end. <laughs> Mr. Mordant, are there any rooms with a lot of plants and uh, or folia foliage in them? Indeed, sir, we have one room that is absolutely full of plants. That must be it. Let's go. Let's go. The conservatory. Laten we daar naartoe gaan. Whoa, there's certainly a lot of plants in here. Some with flowers, some with fruit. Indeed, madam, the conservatory is the pride of the hotel. Um, carefully monitoring an adjustment of the soil richness and air hum humidity allows us to grow plants from any climate in this room. That's very impressive. Ah, and you keep birds here too? Absolutely not. Uh, they might scatter uh, arid uh, seeds in the temperature region. Oh, Urk, a bird! Professor, it's holding something in his claws. So it is. 
That must be the book we're looking for. Leave it to me, Professor. I'll just speak to the bird and ask to give it to us. Oh, that is the vuile bird. Nou, laten we maar meteen even gaan praten. I've never tried speaking to a bird before. Here it goes. Hello, my name is Luke. Is there any chance we can borrow that book you're holding? Oh, okay. Any luck, Luke? Um, she understood me, but she's not giving us anything until she gets her favorite fruit. She's not very nice. There are many different kinds of fruit in, the, in here. Is it something other than uh, what's already here? I don't know. She wasn't very spe specific. Can you think of anything, Mr. Mordaunt? Yes, madam. I believe I can. One particular tree um, here bears a very special fruit, but only under, uh, under certain conditions. Um, if I were a fussy fowl, um, that's certainly the fruit I would choose. Uh, great, so we have to wait around here until the conditions are just right for this tree to bear fruit. Actually, true, the tree uh, withers easily in the wrong environment. Um, it will produce fruit instantly in perfect conditions. The environment controls must be offline because the power of the power outage. We need to restore the power to the room. Oh, of course, I completely forgot. The conservatory has a backup generator. How could you forget something like that? You were... Where's the switch? It's... Uh, that's to say... Hidden somewhere in this room. You've forgotten where the switch is, haven't you? I'm afraid so. It's quite alright. We don't need uh, any more information. Emmy, uh, all we have to do is search the room. And hit me here. En nog een eentje. Een rode blooming. Aha, nothing can hide from me. The switch is here in this strange flower. Oh, so it is. How silly of me. Hmm, the petals look like they're covered in slime. And it uh, really smells. Psh, what are you waiting for? Let's flip the switch already. Water. Hey. Look, that empty kennel just filled up with water. And there's a new piece of fruit there. Hmm, the bird doesn't seem to be moving. You know, the peel looks rather tough. Maybe the bird is waiting for the fruit to fall and break apart. Hmm, let's knock down the fruit. Kijk. We have a new book. We did it, Professor. Uh, now we can get the book. Now we're going to read what's in the book. Nou, in book. Another book left uh, for us by the masked gentleman. I wonder if it's another story. Let's find out. Once upon a time, there was a very poor man who lived in a vibrant, bustling town. The townspeople were very kind and made sure that, though the man had nothing to his name, he never lacked for anything. One day, the richest man in town looked pity on him and bought the poor man a shop so that he could earn a living. The poor man ran a good business and his shop quickly flourished. Soon he became the most successful shop in town and attracted customers from far and wide. Not even the richest man's shop could compare. No longer poor, the man uh, bought up all the food in town, intending to dominate the market and make a huge profit. He raised the price of food so high that no one in town could afford it. Uh, but uh, merchants from richer towns were eager to buy all they could get. Uh, the man had become so blinded by money that he forgot the debt uh, he owed to those uh, in his hometown. The neighbors, uh, his neighbors starved, but uh, the man was only concerned uh, watching his fortune grow. 
Uh, the greedy man became so rich that rumors of his wealth spread to even the most remote corners of the land. Uh, he built himself an uh, opulent palace, exulting in his fame uh, while uh, the town de decayed around him. Okay. The townspeople had no choice but to leave. Uh, in time the man was the only person left, lord of an empty kingdom. There, his loneliness, a vast and empty chasm, swallowed him whole. All was, uh, all's well that ends well. Yeah, yeah. Pom pom pom. Well, that story was horrible. Who would uh, read such a story to a child? I'm fairly sure the story was only meant for us. What do you suppose the masked uh, gentleman is trying to tell us? A town decaying in the midst of great prosperity? A man growing uh, ever richer and forgetting the great debt he owes? Hmm. What do you think, professor? A vast and empty chasm. Ah, of course. Mr. Mordaunt, does this hotel uh, have a spacious hall for special occasions? Indeed it does, sir. Uh, we use the Grand Hall for such events. Uh, it's world-class venue. We need to go there quickly. Nou, dan gaan we wel naar de Grand Hall, hoor. Dan vinden we geen probleem. Oeh, een Filippi. It's here. I know it is. Enter. I take it you still haven't found it. The mask is inside the hotel. Sir, please accept my apologies. Apologies do not produce results. Get the mask. Is that clear? We will find it, sir. The Garden of Healing. The City of Harmony. We have two of the three. Which is just another way of saying we have nothing, isn't it? Pam pam pam. Dat is gewoon even een filmpje voor tussendoor. The Grand Hall is as tall as the reunion in itself. Gosh, look how far away the ceiling is. Imagine if you were up there looking down. It would be really like a chasm. What's this? The room is immaculate. Uh, but there's something off about the cushion. Okay. It does look a bit bumpy, doesn't it? Maybe there's something stuffed inside. Hint, Minky. Nou, nog een hint, Minky. En een puzzeling. Professor, I found another book inside the cushion. It seems to have a fancier cover than the others. I wonder what story this one will hold. There's only one way to find out. Huh? It won't open. Um, it appears to uh, this book elaborates cover is more than just a decoration. Uh, it will require a closer look. It was a puzzle om hem te opening. Ooh, spannend met pijltjes. Jewels to the lock. This book is locked locked up tight by some mysterious. Gold <laughs> The trick to opening it lies in the 10 arrow shaped jewels uh, adorning the cover. These jewels are arranged in particular in a particular pattern um, and rotating just one arrow will release the lock. Um, which jewel uh, should you uh, rotate in order to open the lock? Oh, okay. Ik zie het al. Volgens mij deze. Ze moeten allemaal naar elkaar wijzen, denk ik. En ja, deze was wel heel simpel. Een excellent puzzle. Moeilijk! Oké, okay, gelukkig. Die was makkelijk. Finally! Nou, finally. Hij was fucking snel, jongen Luke. Ik weet niet wat je denkt. Oeh, wat staat er in dit boek? 
Once upon a time, there was a kind princess who lived in a secluded kingdom deep within a valley. Um, this princess was so beautiful that a suitors camped outside the castle for months, hoping for a chance to woo her. Okay. Uh, but not one of the wealthy and handsome young men pleased the princess. Then one day, as the princess was gazing from her window, she saw a young knight riding by. Uh, the princess fell in love with him and instantly, instantly and begged her father to allow him an audience. The king was happy to encourage the match and it wasn't long before the princess married her young knight. Some years later, when the two were rulers of the land, uh, the young king rode out to slay a dangerous dragon. The queen waited for her king to return, but he never did. The chancellor did all uh, he could to comfort the queen in her grief. With time, the queen's heart betrayed her lost husband and she began to feel love for the chancellor. Uh, the chancellor's plan had worked. He had sent the king into the dragon's cave and then collapsed the entrance. The queen knew none of this. She only knew that the king was gone and she loved the chancellor. Uh, the two had a lavish uh, royal wedding and the audience sat uh, with rapt attention, eager to see their new king. It seemed that here they would bear witness to a miracle of love. Now that uh, treacher the treacherous chancellor had the queen, the crown and the country. But, dit, dit, dit. Ja, jullie beginnen het net zoals ik waarschijnlijk wel een beetje te begrijpen. Ik ga het niet verklappen, maar het is wel een beetje obvious nu. The most gentleman must feel betrayed by someone um, he trusted, someone who stole his love, while he was trapped inside a cave. He's pretty angry too, but uh, what does this have to do with Montidor? Hmm, I think we need to focus on the, the words the audience said with rapt attention. It brings to mind a theater. Mr. Mordaunt, is there anything like that here? We don't have theater per se, but we do have an auditor auditorium. Uh, we screen films there, tasteful ones. That sounds like the place. Let's go. We haven't used the auditorium uh, for some time. Nowadays, most new films are too rowdy to be deemed suitable. Do you think? Do you really think the masked gentleman is in here? Yes, I'm quite certain. Uh, we should take care uh, when we investigate. Puzzle stick. Een beetje. Nou, laten we zien wat er op het scherm is. Uh, there may be something behind the screen. I wonder. Professor Luke, there's a film running. Philip. But pinky 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 Oh The king was not dead. One year after entering the cave, he awoke to find himself buried under rubble. He used every last ounce of strength to dig his way out through the debris. Finally he made it back into the open air. He hurried to the castle, anxious to relieve his wife's worry. And there he found his queen and his chancellor, living happily as husband and wife. Wait, that's the end of the story? That remains to be seen. How about you, Luke? What do you... Luke? Professor, where's Luke? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my humble theater of revenge. 
That is your the boy. I believe you have lost something. Luke, unhemmed him you this instant, you villain. Professor, help! Villain? For shame, Layton. After the time, uh, after all the effort I've made to keep you thoroughly entertained, I do hope you're looking forward to the final act. Tonight, my revenge will rise to its dramatic climax as the curtains fall on Montidor. But first, Layton, the man who abandoned his childhood friend, uh, I have a special show planned just for you. I'm sure your young friend here will pay his role perfect, play his role perfectly. Leave him out of this, he's just a boy. Professor! <laughs> we have to save Luke! Quickly, Emmy! into my world, Layton. I've left you one final puzzle so that you may save your little friend. It looks as if he's in quite a predicament. And so high up. Oh my. Is it true, Layton? I've heard you have a history of letting your friends down. Goed, dat was even spannend. Rescue Luke, Grand Hell, Re Hell Rescue. While gliding down the bottom, uh, to the bottom of the Grand Hall, the masked gentleman has left Luke hanging from a rope in midair. Help Layton slide his way down the ropes drawn across the hall and save Luke. There are only a few places where he can drop from uh, one rope to another. Use the panel. Um, on the right of the touchscreen to view the whole hall and hurry uh, to Luke's rescue. Ah, okay. Dus tot elke. Okay. Oh. Nog een keer. Oké. Okay. Um, even bij Luke beginnen. Je moet sowieso daarop komen. Dus je moet sowieso via L. Dus we moeten sowieso op die zien te komen. Dan moeten we die gewoon eigenlijk af laten glijden. En dan bij H dus D. En dan bij H eraf. Dan op gewoon door laten glijden. Of kan het niet. Hmm. Waarom moet je er boven aankomen? We proberen even wat. Hmm. 
Ne, lekker niet. Oké. Okay. E. Oh, bij F kan je hem wel laten vallen. Dat is het ook niet volgens mij. Um. Het is al een lange aflevering, zie ik nu. Weet je wat? We gaan hier mee verder. De volgende aflevering. Ik moet je bedanken voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Dit is een cliffhanger. Ik zie jullie heel graag de volgende keer. Deze aflevering duurt al veel te lang. Bedankt voor het kijken van deze aflevering. En tot de volgende aflevering. Adios, amigos.